まもなく6番線に快速お目行きが参ります危ないですから黄色い線路内側までお下がりください応援寺阿佐ヶ谷西荻久保には電車いたします1番線に電動寺行きが到着します危険ですから白線の内側でお待ちくださいまもなく6番線に外出のお目行きが参ります。Since Martin and I have been here, although our last trip before the pandemic was actually in Osaka in December 2020, we arrived at the airport around 6 a.m. headed to the city to drop off our luggage at our hotel. So we're currently staying at Shinjuku. I'll give you guys a hotel tour later on when we check in. But the check-in time is still at 1 p.m. So we're gonna head out for breakfast and then come back after. I'm still overwhelmed. I'm also not yet awake because I haven't had any coffee or breakfast yet. So I'll talk to you guys later. Let's go! The weather is so nice. It's not too cold, just right. Just wearing two layers right now. To Ginza, guys. I am starving. It's almost 10:30, and we haven't had anything to eat. My brain is not working anymore, so I can't film like a proper intro later on. Once I have something in my stomach and some caffeine, I will be able to share more <laughs> about our trip. Having breakfast here. They open at 10:30. What time is it? 10:20. 10 minutes. The weather is so nice, guys. I was expecting it to be really cold, but surprisingly, it's like aircon weather. So I'm just wearing a heat tech top, a blazer, pants. I'm not even wearing heat tech bottoms yet, and I'm doing just fine. So if you're coming here around end of November, don't have to layer so much. And that's coming from someone who gets cold easily. So really happy about the weather today. I hope it just stays like this throughout our entire trip. We're currently at the main Ginza Street. We're gonna take some photos here while waiting for the cafe to open at 10:30.
they have an English menu that you can check out. We're finally here at Happy Pancake for our first meal here in Japan. I'm super excited to try their souffle pancakes. It's one of the things I really want to try here in Japan, like the real thing. The moment we entered, there was already a huge crowd. Almost all the tables are already taken up. So I guess it's really one of the local favorites here for pancakes. So I'm super excited to try it. They make everything from scratch. They have this window here where you can see them prepare the food. I saw one of the tables have their pancakes already and it looks pretty huge for one person. I think we should have shared but I'm really starving and we ordered two different kinds of pancakes so we're gonna have a pretty filling breakfast. Very light, even the cream is not too sweet. Like the food, it's very fresh, very different from the usual pancake. More than ordered Mont Blanc, a seasonal sauce. It has a more nutty taste to it. For the one thing I got, they don't serve syrup, and I think it's because there's a lot of cream and a lot of filling, and it might be too sweet already. Before we head to our next stop, just wanted to give a quick review of Happy Pancake. If you plan to try this out, make sure to come early because they are quite understaffed. So have to wait quite a bit for the food. I don't think that it's worth the wait, but I still recommend that you try it at least once if you're here in Japan and you just want to try souffle pancakes. It's really a different kind of pancake and they make it from scratch. So overall, not bad. My rating would be about 3.5 out of 5. So, up to you. Can I just say? Our IQ points dropped by 10 since we arrived. We didn't sleep that much in the plane and we haven't eaten and we haven't had coffee so my brain is really all over the place right now. I, I can't vlog properly. Now we're going to shop. Let's go! Second hand, right? Yeah, second hand, but um, very good condition. Mm. It's also nice. Blue. It's quite bulky though. Is this meant or no? Um, that is, um, Can be. Both? Can we reserve? No. <laughs> Can we reserve? <laughs> oh, it's okay. okay. Shopping at GU. This is like the sister brand of Uniqlo, but cheaper. I would advise that if you're looking for winter wear or fall wear, you can check this shop out. It's not too expensive. I actually didn't bring a lot of coats because I was really planning to buy here because the last time I was in Japan, I realized that I should just buy everything here instead rather than buying it in Manila or Singapore because it's more expensive. I'm not gonna wear this though after. I'm gonna get this.
be warned. Yeah, quite a Singapore. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Wide awake in an empty room, all alone with the thought of you. Thought I'd miss you more than I do, but I kind of like it. The best part about revisiting a place is that you're not in a rush and you don't have to go to the usual tourist spots. We're actually just roaming around Ginza, shopping around, window shopping for now. We chanced upon like a lot of stores that Martin wanted to visit. Hopefully we don't get robbed on our first day. Our next shopping spot is a store called Comeo. So I visited this shop before in Osaka and where I purchased one of my luxury items. They sell vintage secondhand pieces at really good prices and have really good service. They have branches all over Japan. The Comeo store is actually a place where you can drop off your bags or other luxury items if you want to have them sell it for you. So it's actually not a retail store where you can purchase. They have another store that you can shop from at Shinjuku. So that's where we're heading because we're also going to be checking in. This is the view. Wow. It's nice. It's not even a room yet. I know. Oh my gosh, guys! We are finally checked in our room here at Prince Hotel Shinjuku. And guys, I'm so excited to give you guys a hotel tour. I think this is one of the biggest rooms Martin and I have stayed in our entire travel history. <laughs> travel history. Mafi travels. I am still in shock with how big this room is. When you enter, you have this entire space to yourself. And then this is a nice couch where you can just chillax. I would stay here after a long day of tour and just be out here. I'm ready to chill here. I feel like I have so many guests. I feel like I'm hosting people. But I'm ready to stay here for like two nights. But it's so nice. You can just relax here. You can eat here. You can watch TV. There's a really huge flat screen TV. And you also have a desk area here. So if you want to work. But obviously, if you're in vacation with your work. Check out the view. Wow, we're actually staying on the 24th floor, so above us is the restaurant. So we really have a nice view of the city. Look at this, guys. They have a coffee area over here. Hot water, coffee, espresso. Now this is our bedroom, guys. Oh my god. I love the layout. It's not the typical square layout. They even gave us the dramas. This bed, I think, is a king size. I'm not gonna jump in yet because I'm pretty dirty. <laughs> haven't showered. And here we have a closet area. Not that we have a lot of clothes. So as you can see, Martin already put his coat here. So it's really great if you're staying here during the winter time or the autumn season. You can just hang your coats here. And then they also have a vault if you have some valuables that you want to store. If one TV is not enough, I have another one here in the bedrooms. There's a secret cabinet here. More storage! And then this is my favorite part because whenever I travel, I always have a hard time getting ready because the mirror is like all the way in the bathroom and I want to sit down. So this is super convenient because it has a stool and then a huge mirror. This is the best part. Like, oh my gosh. The bathroom! 
this bathroom is a room in itself. It's almost as big as our room back home. So we have here faucets, which is very convenient for Martin and I. Not that we need it, but nice to have. And then we have a toilet here that's also enclosed if we need some more privacy. One of the best things about Japan is, of course, their toilets. If you don't know yet, they typically have high-tech toilets wherein you can warm up the seats or you can have like a bidet inside the toilet. You don't need a separate bidet. I'm super excited to try it and do my number to be your TMI. <laughs> so many TMIs. Okay, let's move on. And this is the grand finale. <laughs> oh my gosh. The bathtub and the shower is inside this other room. <laughs> have a chair here if you need to shower but I don't I wouldn't <laughs> I'm confused I'm, I'm very overwhelmed right now this is kind of crazy and very luxurious I can't wait to take a bath so that's it for the tour and I'll see you guys in a bit this is our view from our floor So this is our first time actually staying in the Shinjuku area. I'm actually really surprised because this place is really prime. There's a lot of shops, restaurants, so many things to do here. Like you don't even have to leave the area. A lot of famous shops here as well as second-hand luxury stores so you can do all your shopping here. We have ABC Mart and BIC Camera here. My favorite shops here in Japan. station for dinner it's almost 5 p.m. and it's pitch dark already the sun sets around 4 p.m. because of the season I guess it's not too early to have dinner <laughs> let's go so hungry it feels like it's already 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. it makes you feel like the day is so fast station has a different kind of vibe more like a CBD really nice to take a walk here just looking for the restaurant where we're gonna have dinner super hungry because we haven't had like a real meal yet that it's really filling like the noodles also has this bite to it it's perfectly cooked the soup isn't too light and not too watery it has that very interesting flavor i think it's the peanut butter the peanut butter 
it's the peanut um, sauce that they put that makes it a lot more creamier. I'm gonna try the gyoza now. Mm. It's a lot of noodles. So then. This is soy meat. Mm. 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 Kind of reminds me of like Ikudo, but vegan. I would rate this four out of five. I highly recommend that you visit this place if you want to try vegetarian or vegan ramen here in Japan. Super good. Super filling too. The serving is quite big. Make sure to get sidings also because the main noodle dish doesn't really come with a lot of toppings and just comes with a few vegetables. I recommend the gyoza. Everything. If you forgot your hair curler, you can get it here. Oh my gosh, they have all sorts of umbrellas here. Quite expensive, huh? I didn't know they had food here also. Wow, oh, they have beer here as well. Have like different floors per category. I usually go to Big Camera for electronics, but I ended up seeing all sorts of things like food, beverages, snacks, skincare, makeup. Usually, I come here just for the electronics. So we're going to the upper floor to check out the camera stuff. Mr. Apple section. We also used to buy their watches here, specifically the Kasha brand. If you guys are looking for pretty affordable watches, you I've been getting questions from you guys on what luggage I'm currently using. I'm actually using Martin's. The brand he's using is Loja, which is from Japan. So I'm actually planning to buy one here too because I just thought that it might be cheaper. This is the name of the style. Then they have different sizes, different colors. 